guys so the idea now is to talk about laryngot cell let's start with showing you where is the laryngot cell so we have here the larynx the epiglottis and everything here we have the space between the false vocal cords and the true vocal cords this space between them is named ventricle ventricle or laryngeal vertica, ventricle, or the name is ventricle of Morgagni. Now, here there can be an outpouching with air or fluids inside sometimes, and it usually happens to patients that cause any or it's an congenital or for patients who cause increased pressure in this area. And why will there be an increased pressure, for example, patient who sing or or use for example or use a exhaling things like you see here glass blowers or trumpet player something that increase the intrapharyngeal pressure like and things like this this increase the pressure here and this place can be filled with air and sometimes mucus fluids and cause outpouching. It can be internal, external, or combined laryngeal cell. It can go inside or outside, or be combined inside and outside. Now, Merck show an image of this. You can see here in this city the laryngeal cell that went inside but also outside. So it, this should be a mixed one that begin inside larynx and extends throughout the thyroid membrane so this patient has a mass on his neck that can be seen here is another one you can see here the laryngeal cell of course it's also internal and I think this component that probably is external so again mixed laryngeal cell uh, and again it can be caused by or congenital the uh, weakness of the laryngeal wall or something with pressure for the work of the patient. Uh, tumors, it's quite rare. Males are more commonly. Occupation is important, as we said. Clinical presentation can be asymptomatic, but can also be with symptoms that are secondary to the pressure there. So, for example, dysphagia, cough, uh, sometimes severe cases, street door but it can also be just asymptomatic for example a very small one can be asymptomatic now diagnosis can be of course made by imaging as we saw as i showed you the cities and also it can be you be identified by laryngoscopy that can show those places complication airway obstruction if it's very uh, infection it can also be infected and can rupture very rarely. Treatment, if it's very small and asymptomatic, just observe. You can do ex uh, surgical excision, endoscopic if it's small, and external approach if it's larger. CO2 laser excision and laryngoscopy with more supplization. Prognosis is quite good with treatment and prevention. Don't increase the intrapharyngeal pressure and treat chronic cough as it can. Everything that do this Thing, can increase the pressure of the pharyngeal place and cause this. Differential diagnosis, thyroglossal ductsis. Thyroglossal ductsis is part of the embryological moving of the thyroid from the base of the lung to its place right over here. And in this transmission, there are cysts or sacs that can be left in the direction in this place. And sometimes it is uh, bulging and it's usually, usually, usually on the midline. Uh, and this uh, laryngeal cell can be very lateral. Brachial clefts that can also be a little bit more uh, lateral. Lymphadenopathy that can be a little bit more lateral. Thyroid nodules on the thyroid, laryngeal cysts or tumors. Not very common, these uh, things, this uh, laryngeal cell. Okay, so this was about uh, laryngeal cells outpouching in the area of the ventricle between the vocal cords the true and the false vocal cords 
It can be caused by congenital weakness of the walls or by secondary by occupation that cause increased pharyngeal pressure. Lary pharyngeal laryngeal pressure. It can be external or internal. It can be seen sometimes. It can be asymptomatic or cause symptoms from compression. Imaging can help identify it. And the treatment depends, but it can be uh, excisional in the right ways. Thank you very much. This was about learning good cells. If there are any mistakes or correction, please tell me. Thank you very much. And this is it. Thanks for Claude from here. Thanks for Merck from here. That's it.